Okay, so this video is going to be on how to use um, and how to compile a CMake project on Windows. So a bit of context. Uh, I'm working on a school project, which is an introduction to CMake. And we need to use the rlict, er I don't know how to pronounce it, but uh, we, we need to use this library, which is a 3D engine. And we need to compile on both Linux and Windows. On Linux, there is no issues because we can just install the library using the package manager. On Fedora, on Ubuntu, on Arch, it works fine. But on Windows, we need to use the DLL. So our school provides us with the uh, gives us some files. We've got an include file, which is some headers for the library. We've got the DLL file, which is the one that we need, and we've got this CMake file. So this CMake file is a file to, to tell CMake where to find this library. So for example, on, on Linux, it, you just need to look on these places, but for Windows, we need to look for this a directory which is this directory so it's going to fight the dll which is nice but to build on visual studio it's kind of hard i think i mean i've spent an entire night finding out how to do this so mostly what i've seen online how to build a cmake project you just create a directory called build and run cmake dot dot to use the CMake list to build the, the project, to prepare the project, I think. And so now that's cool. We've, I've got a build directory. And so there's a bunch of, uh, of, pro of files. So we have a Visual Studio solution. So I'm going to open it up. And so now I'm going to try to build the the project using this solution, but it's not going to work. I'm going to show you why. So my target is called Bomberman. So I'm going to right click on it and hit build. And I'm going to wait for it to build. And cool, so it worked. See, it generated everything. And now I can just hit play. And I've got the issue all the time and I don't know how to fix it. So, I'm going to show you another way, which I think it's much, much, much simpler. Inside Visual Studio, hit open and folder, not a project or solution, hit folder. And select the folder, the folder with the CMake list file. Select open. And then Visual Studio is going to detect that it is a CMake project and it's going to do everything for you. See, it's going to generate everything. And then to compile and launch it, just select your target. So in my case, it's going to be this file. And now I can click play. It's going to compile everything, link everything, and it's going to open up the result. So I think on Visual Studio, it's kind of hard. And I mean, it's not very intuitive, I think. So instead, I use CLion, which is an IDE from JetBrains. And I think the advantage with CLion over Visual Studio is that CLion works on Windows, Mac, and Linux. So you can just use one IDE for everything. And if I go into the CMake log, everything has been built, uh, prepared, I mean, and I can just click play and it's going to compile, link, and open up. I think it's much, much faster to do with CLion than Visual Studio. If you do use CLion, go into Settings, Build, Execution and Deployment, and inside Tool Chains, on the Visual Studio one, which I think is the default one, make sure to be that you use the AMD64 architecture. Because by default, it was using x86 for me, and so if I try to compile and run again, I'm going to click play, 
I had this issue because the library was 64-bit, but I was targeting, targeting for x86, which is not what I want. I want to build for 64-bit. So make sure to put AMD64. And I think that's kind of dumb from Microsoft's part to just ship the 32-bit and 64-bit of the Visual C compiler. I think you should just provide the 64-bit by default because we are in year 2020, so most machines are 64-bit now, but provide as an option the 32-bit compiler. That's just my opinion. I think it would be much better for newcomers to, to learn. But hey, you just need to know, know stuff like that. And as you can see, it's back to 64-bit and it works fine. So that's it. Thank you for watching. I hope I, I helped you. I hope you learned something. And uh, yeah, take care. Bye-bye.